Good morning crafters and welcome to uh, us here at Hunky Dory TV. It is 10am, it's Monday morning, it's time for the craft show and it is 2021. We are so excited for everything that we are going to bring you this year and we hope you're excited. How are you? How was your Christmas break? Um, it was a little bit different to usual. Uh, but hopefully people did still manage to get together, uh, whether it by Zoom or whether it be in person, uh, and have a lovely Christmas break. I know a lot of people here had a great time, uh, although we did miss you very, very much. Uh, now, I am Dan. I uh, will be your host for the hour. Today we have the fabulous Emily producing the show. Say hello, Emily. Good morning. Ah, and of course we have a wonderful creative demonstrator. Now, as we know, Anne-Marie is on maternity leave. Sheila is on annual leave. Pauline has been down at TV over Christmas and has gone on to a please can I have a break leave. <laughs> of course that leaves the gorgeous Natalie Mus Pratt. Natalie, how are you today? Hi, how are you? Oh, very, very well, thank you. Um, Natalie, you are going to be incredibly busy this week. Yeah, I mean, people were looking forward to Christmas and having the break off. Um, I was already terrified for this first week back. Absolutely were you? Absolutely <laughs> terrified. So Natalie, everybody, has got, she's got, I think, three shows on Hunky Dory TV this week. Yeah. Um, and she's got two, she's down at Crate and Craft for two shows down there this week, or two launches down there this week. Yeah. By the end of this week, I think Natalie might be on I Want to Leave, Leave, um, but fingers crossed that she isn't. I can agree. <laughs> I agree on that one. Don't worry, guys. It's Monday morning. She soon warms up. She does. Uh, what are we here for? Um, well, first thing, what we'd like to know from you, what are your crafty resolutions for uh, 2021? That's quite an interesting one. Have you got a crafty resolution, Natalie? Um, I'm trying to think. So I did the whole tidy out your craft room thing. Have you done that? Yeah. Oh, well done. Yeah, I was kind of forced into it as well, Boxing Day. Were you? Yeah, Dan was like, come on. We need to sort out the spare room. I was like, no, we don't, because sorting out the spare room, Dan, means, Natalie, you need to tidy up your craft room. Um, and I'm not doing that. I'm not doing <laughs> but that. But you did do that. No, we didn't, actually. Did we, you not? Well, I, not on that day. On that day, we just cleaned out the one drawer that has, like, bills and important documents in. And then I have three drawers, drawers of, like, craft stuff in, and Dan has... Um, two drawers full of football memorabilia. Okay. So we just stopped at the first one because neither of us were willing to get rid of anything else. <laughs> but I did do it, I did it a couple of days ago. So I've, I've cleaned up, but yeah, crafty revolutions. I'm not, resolutions, I'm not sure I'm, I have any this year. Do you not? Last year I learned how to crochet. Did you? Yeah, I taught myself how to crochet, but this year, no, I'm really, I'm stuck for, Try, yeah. There is so much to go at though, which there can make really it quite is. tricky. I've got two crafty resolutions this year, both of which involve paint. Okay. So, um, my wonderful mother in law and uh, father in law bought me some painting goodies, or Father Christmas did, of course. Of course. Uh, bought me some, got me some uh, painting goodies some, with acrylic paints um, and some canvases. So, I've done three paintings so far, one of which is an apple. I this will show cool. you. I will show you. Not today, but uh, because I'm not quite ready. But I'll show you I'm on my phone. I'm excited about this. And we'll see what you think. They're okay. Um, but my did other you do one the is, Did you do the whole thing like where you put the apple on the side and you paint it from a? That's exactly what I did. And then I took a photograph of the of the apple in the foreground and my apple in the background because it was a little bit larger. Oh. And they, it's not. It's not. It's not good. But it's not bad. It's well, a start. And you're that's getting what it's there. This is true. Uh, the other one is paint pouring. I want to go at paint oh, yeah, pouring. That's quite I think cool. that looks quite fun. Messy, and we like messy stuff, don't we? Um, what are your crafting resolutions for 2021? We would love to know. Um, now, do we have our very first <gasps> Win It Weekly of the year, Emily? Oh. Okay, run VT. Guys, so here we go. It is our very, very first Win It Weekly oh, of the year. Oh, this is a good prize. What can you be in with a chance of winning? That's why it's here. I was wondering why it was there. It's our Premier Craft Tools stamping press, guys. Would you be in, would you like to be in with a chance of winning one of our Premier Craft Tools stamping presses? It says Premier, and that's because it is the oh, Premier stamping the press best. on the market. This is true. It's not a market. Uh, in the world. There we go. That'll do. 
Um, for perfect and precise stamping, it says there, worth £29.99. There's going to be four winners. Well, twenty nine ninety nine times four is 120 quid. It's not 100 it's a quid. So we're giving away now. over 100 quid this week. I like it. Let's start as we mean to go on. Yeah, give it all away. Give it away. Giving, giving, giving it away. Right, okay. We would like to know um, the answer to this question. Please, would you like, share and comment? On average, how many cups of tea do Brits drink a day? So, a day? A day. Um, let's ask the question uh, around the room. Emily, how many cups of tea do you drink a day? Uh, one. One? What? Are you That's even not British? even making an effort. <laughs> Natalie, I how many cups... I think we need to DNA test her. I think she's we should. Not, she's not Not normal. very British at all. Um, Natalie, how many cups of tea do you drink a day? Are you counting? You're just counting them in your head, <laughs> I'm aren't I'm trying you? to think. Did I have one in the morning. I have one in the morning when I get here. I have one after my lunch. Then I'll have one about three o'clock because I get a bit tired. Then I'll have one when I get home so I can like stay awake for tea. And then normally <laughs> after tea it's around just seven. Basically, to keep her away. <laughs> yeah, practically. <laughs> I mean, it's going to go up this week, but I'd say around, around five or six, maybe, maybe four, between four and six. Totally agree with Natalie. Yeah, totally agree with normal. Natalie. Um, I think it's it's four, yeah. And sometimes that like that's regular brews. Sometimes I mix it up and have like oh, a like brew. a fancy brew in between, yes. like something without caffeine in it. Yes. Yeah. So we'd like to know, guys. Um, we uh, we'd love to know what your crafting resolutions are for twenty twenty one. We'd love to know, on average, how many cups of tea do Brits drink a day? So this isn't you drinking a day. This is Brits drinking a day. Oh my gosh. Oh right, so it's not, I haven't even looked at the, at the answers yet. It's not like four, five, six or whatever. Oh no, it's, it's like... It's 115 it's, it's million. It's like the Brits all together. All the Brits. Do we drink 115 million a day? Do we drink 165 million a day? Or do we drink 182 million a day? Very quick maths. What are the 60 million or I so people? I reckon it'll probably be the, the lower one, you know. So A, a is about two brews each a day. Right. B is about two and a half brews each a day, and C is about three brews a day. But you have to think there's a lot of people that drink coffee too. There are. There That's are. That's very true. That's very true. So. Okay, I, I, I'm on. I'm on five or six. I think brews a day, and I love tea. Tea is fantastic. It's a wonderful invention. The Chinese did a very good job of it. I think. I know. Uh, it's very very good. Um, okay, so like, share, and comment on Friday at 10 a.m. On our Thankcraft It's Friday show, we are going to choose the winners. So there's going to be four of them, which means that we're going to give, be giving away 120 quid's worth of awesome stamping presses. Do you know what we should do this week? What should we do, Natalie? We should start right now and count how many brews we get in this week. And then on Friday, we can tell you how many we've had this I week. I think we should do that. I think we it's a good idea. I, I I've had one so far. Oh, I haven't had my morning brew. Have you not brew. had a morning brew yet? No, oh. I had a hot Vimto this morning. Oh, that's, that's quite nice as well. Mm, I know. That is quite nice. Yeah. Hot Vimto. Um, okay, guys, so if you want to be in with a chance of winning, please do let us know. Now, what are we here for today? We are here because it is Super Savers. Um, we love Super Savers. At the beginning, the end of the month, the beginning of the month, um, every month, we look at loads um, a list of all of our core products, um, items that are key consumables like card and paper or adhesives or tools, things you're going to use again and again and again. And we choose which ones we're going to discount. And we discount them, different ones, every single month. Mm -hmm. This month there are, I can't read it off there, but I think there's probably 20 or there's so. There's quite a lot this month. There's a lot to there's get through, so stuff. we need to get moving. Okay, so first product on our Super Saver show this week. And I think we should start as we mean to go on Definitely. in 2021 with what is probably the product that we are best known for in the whole of the crafting world. And it's the adorable scoreboard. Um, not, it's the original adorable scoreboard, so it's the beautiful purple one. It's absolutely gorgeous. We have a beautiful picture of AMC. our friend Anne-Marie here. AMC there, very cute. Um, and let me just show you this. On the back of here, there's some instructions of how to use your adorable scoreboard. But if that's not enough, you also get the fabulous adorable scoreboard crafting handbook. A 48 page book filled with projects, filled with how to's, filled with what you can do to get the most from this fabulous crafting tool. Um, £34.98 for these two items combined. It's not £34.98. We've equaled our best ever price oh. for 2021. 
seventeen pounds forty nine for both of these. Stop this right now. It's good, isn't it? This, it's very good. Is... Because this is how we're going to do it in 2021. Oh yes. my gosh. So, um, I can tell you all about how fantastically ergonomic this is and how you can carry it around looking um, superb like I do. Yeah? Um, how this uh, is an ergonomic uh, tool, how it clips back in for safekeeping, how it's got inches on one side and it's got metric on the other. It does. Um, it does so many things, how you can make boxes with it, how it's sturdy, how you can get a craft mat that goes in it and matches perfectly and sits on your lap, um, how it is something desirable and beautiful that you love and love and love, but... You don't want to listen to me wax on about it. What you want to do is you want to see in action. And okay. there is a lady here who's going to show you that. And her name's Natalie. I am. Oh, I can't tell you how amazing this scoreboard is. Since the first time I've used it, I've never, ever used anything else. Never, never used anything else. I've never used any other adult, like cardstock either to go with it. And what we're going to do to show you just how amazing and how simple these two products work together, I've decided to pick out um, a card to make for you here and just show you how easy it is. So we're gonna do the side stepper. Um, this is probably one of those cards which I actually find the most difficult, but it's super, super easy to do. And in here you have full instructions with a guide um, for where you need to score, for where you need to cut. It's so easy to follow. So we've got our scoreboard. It's on the centimeter side because that's the side we need to use. Um, and I'm going to use some of, there's a sneak peek for you here as well, guys some of our brand new adorable scoreable for 2021. Look how amazing this colour is. It matches so well. Oh, it does. It's lovely. So we're going to cut this down as it instructs us to 28 centimetres. So we're going to cut that there. And then what we're going to do, because we do have, um, we are going to decorate this as well, is the best thing to do is to get your topper um, I've got this one here from our Popper Topper Pads um, and this is super exclusive because this is what we are launching tomorrow on Creating Craft. Giving out all the good stuff today. You are, aren't you? So what we need to do first is just put this in line and see um, where you want your main um, sort of line in the middle to be. Um, so I'm just going to use um, a little pencil and I'm going to mark that at nine, I think. Or maybe, maybe a bit, maybe we'll do it at eight. I'm going to mark that at eight, just at the top there. And then I'm going to flip it over and do it on that side as well. Um, because we will need to know those markings. Then next up, what we want to do is if we put our adorable scoreboard in line here with our marking on the front so we can see that line and where it needs to go to, then we're going to score at three up to this line, I'm going to score at six, I think that's right, yeah, three, six, then we're going to score um, four inches from that, which is ten, and then we're going to go at fourteen, we're going all the way across, and then we're going to do at twenty-one as well, so just to where that marking is at thirteen, and then using our trimmer, because our trimmer is just the best thing since sliced bread. What we're going to do is use Sliced bread's pretty good. It is. So that's, you know, it's got a lot to live up to there because sliced bread is really quite good. I'm using my marking that I made on the top here. And then with my trimmer blade, we're going to move that up to our first mark, which is at the 21 centimetre mark. And we're going to run it up to that first score line that we did. I feel like I've definitely done this on the wrong side, but it's fine because the stepper works both ways. It certainly does. And then what we're going to do is just bend our panels like so. It takes a little bit of time to sort of get this moving, so just bear with it. Um, and then you want to mountain and valley fold all of these little bits. And We've got then, some love for the scoreboard here, Natalie. Ah. We've got... Emma Healy says she surprised. loves her scoreboard and uses it for every single project. Although she does sometimes manage to lose the scoring tool. Uh, extra yeah. scoring tools are available on our website, um, but it does clip in quite securely. So uh, I'm guessing that that's when it disappears off your desk or ends up underneath yeah. um, some adorable scoreboard or something, you know. And then what we're going to do is just decorate it with all of these little pieces. Look how fast that was. I don't know how fast it was to do that. It was Probably really fast. Maybe like less than three minutes 
We should probably have the adorable scoreboard step a challenge. Oh. That's a good idea. Let's We've not... got some challenges coming, haven't we? I'm excited about our challenges. Well, let's not talk about challenges already. Let's like get well, into Well, I'm the... surprised that you don't want to talk about challenges, considering the fact that you absolutely obliterated us in the year-end challenges. Well, do you know what? I didn't want to rub it in, but Guys, seeing as you mentioned it, anybody who I missed smashed it, it, it was brilliant, and Natalie smashed it. She won every challenge. It was, uh, well, it was quite demoralising, actually. But I've been, all I've done this, <laughs> this Christmas is just practice. Practice, practice, practice. I bet you had. You had to. Because it was, it was, I it was to. quick. I know. It was, it was crazy. It was very, very good though. You did very well. So then I'm using um, the little strip that you get here, but I'm going to do something quite clever with this. So I'm just taking the backing off it. I'm going to put it to one side. Then with some, oh, can we use this foam roll? Definitely should have come in here and sorted this out before today because I'm not sure where everything is. Um, just yet. I, think I haven't the got my bearings dory pixies straight. have been in moving things about, haven't they, over the um, I have not got my bearings. Over the break. So we can chop, put some foam pads on this bit, which I'm going to have sort of to this side, I think. So let's put that, actually, let's put that in the middle of our stepper. We've got some time just to move it off there. So that's going to fit in the middle of our stepper. And then with my... Um, with this piece of border strip, I'm going to just place it on here and then, oh, oh no, can I lift it off? I'm going to trim that down. So you can use, in place the, there. You use the, the edge of the card as a guide for your scissors yep. to make sure that it's in the right place. And then on the same on the other side. Pop that yeah, down. it's such a, a, a widely used technique, isn't it, to, to make your borders, if your borders aren't long enough, you can make them look long enough. Yeah. Uh, just, just with that use of a sentiment, down. it's really clever. So then we'll just trim that as well. So you're going to have that nice sort of like edge gap between it all that follows the whole way across. Then we'll stick our big topper on here. So we're going to use all of these layers. I might use my glue actually to do this. Let's just try and pop this out of here. Pauline Kirsten says she's got this, loves it. Good. That's the adorable scoreboard. That is, I think everyone, I don't think I know one person who doesn't love their adorable scoreboard. It's just so handy. Um, and you know what's even better? Um, the fact that it does actually fit in your craft trolley. So when you're on the move, you can do that. You've got that mat that fits inside it. So you can use it as a little portable desk. Um, to craft on, I did that quite a lot actually, just mainly because I was lazy and I didn't want to sit upstairs. I wanted to sit in front of the TV and craft. Um, that's what I did over the over the break. Just sat in front of the TV, crafted away um, on my scoreboard. Use it as a little desk, so I knew that everything was going to be straight. It's really quite um, fun to use. So we've got those bits done now. Let's put. So there, you were trimming. I was the trimming the pips. Instead of ripping the pips off, you were trimming Maybe the pips. Maybe that's going to be my really New Year's smooth. resolution. Okay. I'm going to trim pips this year, people. We have a New Year's resolution from Tina, who says she's sorted out her craft area over Christmas. Uh, she's got a new storage unit, and it looks fabulous. Congratulations. <gasps> oh, so her crafty resolution unit. is to do more crafting. That's a good one. It's a very good one. That is a good one. I definitely need more craft space. Happy New Year to everybody who's joining us. Please do uh, leave a comment on our Facebook feed or on the YouTube feed. We would love to hear from you. Uh, make sure you're answering that Win It Weekly question to be in with a chance of winning uh, one of those gorgeous stamping presses. Four to win, and we're going to be picking the, the winners on Friday. There are going to be loads of giveaways. We've got some brilliant ideas uh, ready for 2021 for our giveaways. Uh, we know people love the giveaways, don't they, Now They do. They really, really do. Um, it's just so fun, isn't it? You get something amazing just for commenting most of the time. So let's put our frame on. And we're going to put the frame on first because we want to make sure that it's all nice and equal. So we'll put that up here. So that's in line with this square that we've got here. And then we're going to put our topper on there, which says, let's celebrate you. We've got exciting times ahead. We've got first and well done. So I'm going to put these... Um, on the back of my topper. Let's just chop 
these down a little bit so they're little squares. There's some funny stuff going on around the place, Natalie. Why? Lynn Parry says that their recycling bin was stolen on the 5th of November. <gasps> and she, she needs to catch the bin men today so they can take a regular bin with... Uh, do you know what? Bin men are quite a funny. recycling bin. bin. What's going on in the world? Bin. It's, like it's gone balmy, hasn't it? Well, let's put those ones on the I like the that. Back jaunty there. angles. Jaunty angles. We like a jaunty Lots angle. Lots of fun. And then we've got another little space. So I do have some more bits that we can pop on here. So let's just put this one on. Um, do, will this one fit? Do join yep. us on Facebook, guys, and on YouTube. Please come. do come and uh, leave a message. Uh, say hi. Let us know what your crafting resolution is. Um, uh, let us know whether you like Natalie's uh, Natalie's card that she's making. I think it's beautiful. So we're just going to do exactly the same. I could have actually done this in one go, actually. I'm going to do this other border because there's so many borders and little like pieces that we can add to this card. I'm going to do this border. Da da da. And use our finger lift tape. Natalie Jacqueline says that she'd like to try heat embossing this year. <gasps> heat she's embossing not tried is so it yet. much fun. It's just she's not trying it yet. She's too scared. Should so she be scared? So much fun. No, it's super, super easy to do. I was going through all of my um, heat embossing powders because I've got so many colours at home that I don't use. It is the easiest thing to do. You should definitely do that. If there's one thing you do this week, get yourself a heat tool, get yourself um, an embossing pad, and it may, you don't even have to have loads of colours, you could just get um, a few colours and then you're ready to go. It's so, so simple to do and it's really fun as well. Start off with your, your silver, gold and yeah. copper, I think are really good colours. They're Black great well. ones it's to very use, useful, isn't it? Um, but then you can get really jazzy with lots of different colours. So let's peel that one off there and then to just carry this on, because I have a little bit of a gap here at the back. I'm going to run that across there as well so it all matches and you can do that because you have all of these amazing elements on your piece so just bear with me while I chop this down. Because I have to is. say Natalie I'm rather keen on that colour of adorable scoreboard that it's you have It's good this there. one isn't it? So if you're if you look I know it's strange that when you see these um, these craft shows guys uh, we will often show you things that you can't actually buy you can. and as it stands you can. right now you can't the, right the, now, but the you can. stock that Natalie's using cannot be bought anywhere in the world. No. Uh, the toppers that Super Natalie's been exclusive. using cannot be bought anywhere in the world uh, they're launching tomorrow on Create and Craft, and then I think we have them Wednesday on. on Wednesday, on here. TV. we'll be here on Wednesday, me and Rachel, to go through this with you. So if you like that, guys, Wednesday is when you need to be here. But today is Super Savers Day, and uh, Natalie, that's lovely. So how fast was that to do? And then you can decorate it with anything that you have. But it's just a really easy way to show you how much sort of knowledge you get in these books and how many different card styles and types you have in here so it's a really good way to start off the year especially if you're wanting to expand on the type of cards that you make. I think it's fabulous instead of just having a a, a plain card um, either a, a, a fold at the side yeah. or, a, or a tent fold you can create something that's got so much dimension and depth so very quickly and easily with that scoreboard. Uh, it's brilliant. Okay, so that's product number one. We're gonna fly through a couple of products because we've got a lot to show you. We do. Now, Nat's just shown you a scoreboard. A scoreboard can be used to make your own, in the most simplest way, to make your own card blanks. To make your own card blanks, you need cardstock. How's about this gorgeous pack of I wish I'd opened it before because it's sellotape. Yeah, it's a big pack that, isn't it? It's a very, very big pack, but I do want God, to show it. tape to it. Um, honestly, our guys, when they package these, they don't mess around, do they? Do you want some scissors? Uh, no, I'm going to, I'm just going to do gonna, the whole manly thing. Do and, it. You know, as manly as I can be. <laughs> okay, so what have we got here? We've got a hundred sheets. Let me show you this. A hundred sheets of... 300 GSM Ink Me cardstock. Now, it's Ink Me cardstock. That means that it is uncoated. So it's not our Adorable Scorable, it's uncoated. Our Adorable Scorable is a coated board. This is an uncoated board, which means it's perfect for stamping on. It's amazing for stamping. It's awesome for taking colour. Now, whether you're taking colour or adding colour uh, with permanent markers, yeah. with, uh, what can you use now? All you can sorts. use all sorts on here. You can use your rings, you can use your markers, you can use your pencils as well if you're not going to be blending yeah. on it. Um, it's amazing for stamping on. Um, you get the most crisp, clean, 
stamp images using this card. It's really weighty too. Wobble so factor. So for wobble factor. With. Wobble factor 100. <laughs> it's got good wobble factor. Now what you wouldn't do is just fold it and oh, no, you do, can't do that, that with it. Stand because stop. if you do that, I don't. I know I shouldn't have done that. It's going to upset horrible. everybody. I don't know if you can see, but can you see how where the fold is? It's all wibbly wobbly, pibbly pobbly. Um, it's not very good at all. It's cracked in a couple of places. Natalie, if I pass you, you uh, something over there, then you will use your scoreboard and you will score it. I will. Whilst I regale you with the card sizes that can be made with this uh, wonderful with A4 this pack, you can score it straight down the middle and turn it into A5. You can, which I always hate because I can never work out. Sheila knows it. I think it's like six and something over here. Um, but I always have to do like this when I do this. Do you? We all have our own little And then secret, just like find out, out where, where it is. Be. And then it's like, maybe it's just here. Well, some people have put a little mark on this couple of Yeah, sandwich. they have. Um, but if you do not want A5, you can trim this down to a different size. <gasps> so you can so trim good. it down. It's, it's so perfect, isn't it? Perfect. You can trim it down to seven by five. Seven by five cards are really, really, really popular. My favorite card. Um, because they're not as large as A5, so they're just a little bit, but they're still substantial enough. They're just a little bit dinkier. Um, you can go down to your C6, obviously, and you will get two C6 or, or A6 cards out of uh, an A4 piece of paper. So you can get two, you just chop it in half and then score there and there. If you want six by sixes, you can get a slightly undersized six by six out you of it. You can. You can get a five by five out of it. You can get the four by four out of it. You can get the DL out of it. You can do all sorts with this and you get a hundred sheets. What's the price? $12.99. It says $19.99, but it isn't $19.99. It's $12.99, which is 12.99 pence per sheet. It's 13 per sheet now. That's mental. It's good, isn't it? Guys, you need this in your craft stash, and that's what Super Savers is about. We bring you the awesome products like the scoreboard, but we also bring you these consumables at great prices. Um, that's a hell of a price. It's brilliant. Okay, you've made your car blanks. But you need to send your cards. What you're going to send them in, you're going to pop them in an envelope. Yeah. So how's about? Do you know what? I don't think we've ever, 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 in the whole of my ever life, ever sold ever envelopes ever at less than normal price. And I don't know why. I know. We have now. So we've done 25% off all envelopes, right? I love this. So this is whether you are going for, for A4 envelopes. So this is oversized. Your Definitely envelopes. big cards, aren't they? Yeah, if it says A4, that means that they're envelopes for A4, so which is a C4 size. It's slightly larger, and you're going to be able to fit your cards in there, whether or not they've got a little bit of depth to them. They're still going to fit in, uh, in nice and easy. Um, bright white, because that's what you want with yeah, an envelope. Yeah, you want Something clean, nice, crisp. Bright white. Uh, uncoated, so again, these can be stamped on, as you can expect. Um, and they are the... Um, Banker fold, they're called. There we go. So we have A4s, yes, or C4s, yes, we do. We also have, and then in 25, all the rest of our card blank packs come in 50 packs, which is a great number, I think. 50 envelopes, it's a good solid um, amount for your stash. They're probably so, going to last you all year. Well, they're going to last you a long time. So we've got 8x8, eight eight, we've got 7x7, seven seven, we've got 6x6, six six, we've got 5x5. Five five. We've got DL, of course we do, we have 8x3, yeah. absolutely. We've got our A6, as you'd expect. Yeah. We've got our 7x5, we've got our A5. But we've also got Ooh, funky, funky things like this. So those, that was your 4x4. Four four. Look at this, 4x3s. Four Aren't they lovely? They're so, good for really tiny cards or if you're making like notelet sets. Perfect notelet sets. Making like little notelet sets and then having them in there as well so you can send it all off, they're great. So if you make a notelet set to give to someone as a gift, yeah put the envelopes in as well, mm -hmm. yeah? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Prices like this, probably not worth making your own envelopes. Um, uh, they're just phenomenal prices. 25% off all of them. Jump on there, um, I can show you yeah, from just two, two pounds 24. I've got a little list here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, no, I haven't, I haven't I've lost my list. Uh, here's my list. Um, so we've got eight by threes for two pounds 63. We've got uh, five by fives, they're only two pounds 63. Um, two pound ninety nine instead of three ninety nine. We've got seven by fives. Perfect. So great, great size card. Seven by fives. Uh, eight by eights. Normally five ninety nine. They're not. They're four pound forty nine for fifty eight by eight envelopes. I think it's a brilliant deal. Um, grab your envelopes. Stock up on them because they're at this deal. They won't go back no, on on a deal like this until another super savers at some point through the year. Um, maybe it'll be June. Maybe it'll be July. I don't know. But I can promise you that. 
they will not go down in price. You won't see them uh, uh, back down in price in, in February or anything like that. It will not happen. Grab them while you want them, uh, while you can get them. Okay. Uh, Nasi, we are going to come across to you, I do believe, and we you're are. going to tell us all about the craft glue pen. The craft glue pen. This is an incredible deal because not only do you get one, you get six of these beauties. Um, they're amazing. You get 18 millilitres in here, but they're really good for precision work, for using with your dies, um, for using with your stamps, when you've got to um, add tiny bits of glue. I've got one here that is open so we can show you how it works, but they are just full, filled with our white craft glue. This is an award winning pen, by the way. Um, it won that award last year. It um, did as the, as the single best adhesive. Yeah, it's really, really good. So it comes with a tip here that you can just trim off. The best thing about that is that you can trim it to as small or as little as you want to with your scissors. And that's going to obviously allow the glue to come out. But then when you press down on it, and this one has been upside down for quite a while while we have been off. So you're going to have to bear with me. But you can see the small amount that comes out on there. So when you're using your dies, you've got those really thin edges um, with those small lettering. This is going to be perfect. And there's so many in here. Um, and the £5.95, that's such a good price. It's a great price, Honestly, isn't it? Honestly, I've not seen these prices, but there's some amazing ones on here. So £5.97 for six of these pens. And they're going to just work amazing, especially on that really fine detail thing where you just want to add little dots of glue. It's going to be amazing. I can't believe it's that price. It's a great price, a brilliant that price. That is such a good price. Uh, we've just had a couple of questions through. Um, okay. One is Diane Owen who said, what's the GSM of the cardstock? The GSM of the cardstock is 300 GSM. Um, sorry, my comments weren't working, so I've not been seeing what people have been saying, unfortunately. Um, it's 300 GSM, which is a great uh, weight for card making, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic. really, really good weight, all uncoated. It's nice and, nice and thick. Um, you'll see a lot of card blanks. You've got to be careful what you say, because I don't, I, we don't believe and we don't think it's right um, to, to say that other people's products might not be at the standard. Um, that you want them to be. But I do think it's important that when you buy your cardstock, you check your GSMs, you check your Yeah, micronage. sometimes it's disappointing, isn't it? Sometimes you get 225 GSM card, um, which which is, it's too thin. Yeah. Um, they're the ones that you get that blow just, you know, where, where the door opens and it blows off the mantelpiece. That's not what you want. You want to be at least 250. Uh, we don't do anything less than 300. Um, and then the adorable scorable is, is 350. It is completely down to you and you need to um, get different types of cardstock and check what you like the best. Uh, but really, 300 really GSM is better. where you want to be, I isn't it? I do not think above. there's anything better. Yeah. Um, it is really great. Uh, okay, uh, Liz Moore is waiting until Friday to order some. Um, there was another question. Diane Owen said A3 would be good, A2 even better. Can you do me a favour? Can you tell me whether you mean the cardstock? Um, because if you want A3 Ink Me cardstock... Yeah, we've got that. We've got that, but it is also something that I will bring to you on a Super Savers Ooh. in the future, um, if that's what you want. We try and listen, we want to listen. Um, Natalie, you've got another product for us. I've got another one, and this is my favourite thing. I'm going to be using this all week because it's so easy to do. It's our finger lift tape. These, this is, comes in a bundle, so you're going to get 10 of these. Um, but the best thing about this tape is that, I'm not sure if you can see it, can you see it on this one? Is that the tape doesn't cover the whole of the strip. And that just allows you that when you stick it to something, let's use this piece of cardstock here. When you stick it down and you put your tape on, you can literally, I'm not gonna be able to do it now because I don't have any nails, you can peel it off as fast as this. So when you're making projects, when you've got a lot of work to do, you can do that straight away. It's super easy to use. You don't have to mess around with your um, pokey tool and try and get it off or try and get the end off. It's so, so quick. It's something that I'm gonna be using all week because it's a lifesaver when you've got to do things super, super fast. Now, um, Emily was rather long. mean to us, wasn't she? Because we did some Christmas challenges, didn't we? And oh, we had yeah, a we lot had to of fun doing our tape. Christmas challenges. And she gave us non-finger lift tape. I was devastated. And when you've not got nails, it's worth growing it's a couple really of nails. Hard. Male, female, or whatever, it's worth growing a couple it to help really you put. Difficult. It really is, isn't it? Um, Natalie, what do we have next? We um, have next. our Ooh. fabulous white craft blue. Can we get the close up on this? Um, here we go. So, just looks like a white box, but I'm showing you this to prove something. What am I proving? Quantity, 12 pieces. That's what yes. it says at the bottom. 
Uh, this is our item number PCT18. It's our craft glue. 12 pieces. You get a box of our craft glue. Uh, I've pulled one out, there's only 11 in there, that's because one's so, in my hands. It's so good to have them on this incredible deal though, when you get the quantities that you do, because they are going to last you. They ages. are going to last you ages. This You could get all of this today, and I would say it would probably, like the glue especially, the glue's going to last you till September. Tape, depending on how much you use it, maybe the middle of the year. That's but that fantastic. glue is definitely going to last you all year. You see, and that's for coming from somebody who crafts non-stop. Every um, day. It is Natalie's job to craft. Um, she's going to be crafting a lot this week. We talked about that earlier. I shouldn't remind her. Please um, stop. Non-toxic. <laughs> it leave. is, of course. It's acid-free. It's a white craft glue. Okay. Um, dries clear now? Dries clear. So you get no sort of like sticky things anywhere. Um, it's really good. And if you do sometimes get it on your cardstock, um, when it dries off, if you just use like a baby wipe or just your finger just to lift it, it does actually peel away quite well. Um, so you can um, sort of it lift it off if it's, if it's messed about. Oh gosh. Basically, we just got to the point where we're just dribbling glue on Jeez. ourselves. Okay, um, it's fabulous. Eleven ninety nine. It's not. It's seven pounds ninety nine, which I think is an incredible deal. Um, Natalie, while I go and have a bath, um, yeah, I think you need would to. you? Would you? Would you show us our next product? The next product is our pearlescent powder bundle. Um, this is great. These are really fun to use. I'm going to show you a demo in a little while using these actually. These are, you get four sets in total, but as you can see, there's three different colors in each. Um, set one has our, what colors are in here? Oh, I know. These are sort of like the essential colors. So you've got gold, bronze, and silver. I knew that, but because I'm holding them the wrong way and looking at the camera, I just didn't didn't get it at all then. So then that is set one. So you've got your essential colours in there, your gold, your bronze and your silver. Set two, you have the pinky bluey tones. But I say that these are pinky bluey tones. You can do some crazy things with these and the different colours that releases from here. It's just incredible. So in this one, you have your pearly pink, your purple and your sparkling sapphire. Add some water to this, let it go on your um, page, and we'll show you later. You're going to get hundreds and hundreds of colours running through that. Um, set three, you've got more browny, earthy tones. So you've got your sepia, your burgundy, and your radiant rose. And then set four is the last one, which is a lot more brighter, actually. You've got your glimmering greens, your sunshine, and your orange. So you're going to get 12 sets in total here. We've got some that were the original sets here and there's still loads in them they are so full they're a great way to sort of add different um a bit of sparkle to your stamping cards there's lots of different ways that you can use them we're going to show you them shortly but before we do i need to show you this one because i'm very excited about this deal these are it's our scissor set this is incredible so nine pounds you're going to get this set of scissors you get three different sizes in here um, you get the large medium and the small as you can see they are amazing they've got that beautiful rainbow effect i've got uh, some sets that i'm going to show you out but they are just beautiful you've got the smaller ones for your tiny detail you've got the bigger ones for say your larger cards and then you've got the even bigger ones which you can use for any different type of crafting you could use this for sewing you could use it for um sort of larger craft projects but these scissors are amazing not only do they have this beautiful um hunky dory logo on the front can you see can you see that but can you see the amazing unicorn rainbow that you get along these scissors as well they are super super easy to use you've got a really nice sort of cushion feel here so when you put in um, out loads of things doing decoupage and things like that you're going to be able to do it for a really long time so that's the bigger size then you have the medium ones which are here you can see that these have a smaller sort of really fine end which are it's quite easy to use with your um, little books this would probably be the size of scissor I would use with my little book actually um, but then when you do more finer detail like your decoupage then you want the smaller scissors, which we've got here. Um, they're great for just the little bits that you need to trim off um, your cardstock as well. But that is our rainbow scissor pack for nine 
99 How incredible is that? Absolutely love those, really Natalie. I think cool. they're fantastic. Um, okay. I've managed to clean up somehow. Uh, I've got no idea why I ended up with so much glue on me, but there we go, it's we're crafting. Um, okay, next two products, next three products that I've got to show you. Uh, there's a little bit of storage going on. Um, we love storage in Super Savers. We love bringing the price down on these products. So, next one I've got for you is our Premier Craft Tools Craft Tidy. Um, it does what it says on the tin. It it's going to help you to tidy when you're in your craft area. It's nice and simple. It's got three compartments, one larger compartment, two smaller compartments. You can hold it like this. Brilliant. I've got one here that's pretty much full, filled with goodies. Just to show you how much stash you're actually going to be able to get into this. It's just great for bits and bats. Isn't yeah, it? all the little essential things that you use all the time, like your foam pads, your tapes, your scissors, everything that you sort of need on the go, or you don't want them in a drawer, you want them ready, available, you, that's what you it's need. stuff you use all the yeah. time, isn't it, yeah? Normally 4 99 it's not, it's £3.99. There's 20% uh, off that, love the Craft Tide, it's fantastic. We'll put that to the side. Next product, I think, I think, mm -hmm. is it the big one? Is it PCT, th PCT 32 it's Craft the Tidy? The, the Craft Tidy is the, oh, I can't even, no, the craft daddy you've done. We're not sure the, which one to show it's you. It's the crafty toolbox next. Yeah. Should we do the crafty toolbox? Do the crafty Let's toolbox. Let's do this one. Okay. Natalie, the best way to show our crafty toolbox. It's quite disappointing though because I haven't yet filled it up. This is going to look amazing in a couple of hours when I've stopped. When you've filled it week. up. Right. Our crafty toolbox. Let me just see how much it quite is. Oh, it's on screen. There we go. £14.99. We're losing the plot a bit. £14.99. It's not. It's £11.99. Um, it's a brilliant little piece of kit. Again, you've got your handhold there. Um, a nice clip here, but when you bring it back, what should happen, there we go, as soon as I learn how to bring it back, is you get this, it lifts up, okay? So you get all of that space very cleverly within there. Uh, it's really good. Let's go and have a look at Natalie and see what she's got. Yeah, so I use this, and I'm gonna be using this this week because it's like your craft tidy, everything's available for you. However, you can quickly um, put it away and get on with your journey or travel away. So I normally, although mine is absolutely atrocious right now, I normally have my scissors on top. I've got my pens, my pencils, um, watercolors here. Um, we've got our um, embossing tools in case we need them. We've got glues, which are all down here at the moment because this is an absolute mess. Um, I did not do any tidying before I left for Christmas. Just got up and went. Uh, we've got some hand sanitizer, which is always essential. Um, I've got a dye here, randomly. I'm not sure why that's there. Um, and mainly just because I shoved stuff in here. We've got two hand sanitizers. I'm extra health and safety here. Uh, we've got some um, silicone adhesive, because I was doing decoupage before we left. We've got some different types of tape, which all fit in there nicely. Um, some random punches, some thread. I've got some sticky notes. What do these say? Score box lid at one, cut aperture at one and a half. That's for when I need to know what I'm actually doing. Um, but these, it's really good. And my sister has one of these for um, her embroidery. So she has like hoops and her Ada bits in here. Then she has these little sections, have all different colors in. And on top as well, she's got bits for her needles and extra bits and pieces like that. So they're really good for not just crafting toolboxes, but for any different types of toolboxes. Maybe you've got um, a child and you can put like little different pe bits and pieces in here. Um, if you want to be super, super extra, I mean, make a really good lunchbox. You can't fit your <laughs> child in really there though. That's lunchbox. quite important. So you may have a child, but the child can't go in the box. No, the child can't go in the box, but you unless it's a really little essential child. Things in here. Uh, okay, next product. Um, I've just filled that. I'll just pop that back there. How's about this one? This oh, is a corker, isn't it? Um, this is our Premier Craft Tools Mega Storage Caddy. It is mega storage. Again, it's got the handle. We want these things to be portable for you. You need to be able to move them around easily. Um, Nat's got one that's full of stuff, but I'll just tell you a little bit more. You can open this simply and easily. Um, it's made out of high quality ABS, uh, and inside you get, let's just lift this up, look at all of these smaller individual storage boxes, okay? Um, each of which open with a clip lock to make sure that they're really secure. And they've been designed, so sized, to fit 
all of our products, really. I mean, it's yeah. amazing how much you can fit in this. Let's go and have a look at what Natalie's got. So in my one here, this is my sort of stamping one, really. So it has all my ink pads in. Um, if I, let's do it the other way. If we open this, because the great thing about this toolbox is that it has little um, notches between all of your um, boxes. So you can actually stand it up with no risk of them falling out because um, then you can just have them on your desk and pull them out whenever you need them. So I've got um, my inks in here, they're all in order of the, the colours that go with each set, each collection. I've got um, my essential inks in here. I've got some, uh, I've got some gemstones as well. Um, they gemstones fit in there nicely. Fit beautifully, don't they? Your pens fit in there really well as well. I know Sheila has one with all her... Sheila has about five of these, actually. That's a lie. Sheila's got about five. So she's got one with all her inks in. She's got one with all her gems in. So she has, like, each one is a different colour of gems. Um, she's got ones with her pens in. And they're all, all organised in, like, colours. It's quite crazy. We use these a lot in our craft room as well because our... A6 stamps fit in here perfectly so all of our stamp collections go in one of these and then when we're working on it or someone needs a card making with a certain stamp we can go by reference of okay well that launched on this day and um, so it's in here and they fit all 10 fit in there really well so your stamps fit in there your inks fit in there your gemstones your tools can fit in there as well and um, if you have little bits and pieces like the maybe like the what are they called the I'm thinking about like wooden accessories that you would craft with those lovely little wooden embellishments yeah, and so on. That, yeah, yeah, they, I, I, I adore them. We've there. got some coming for Christmas time this we year. Do, but we it's do. A secret. I'm not meant to tell anybody. I've just told people. But yeah, I at home when I was searching through and tidying up, I've got a little thing and it's just full and full of loads of random bits and pieces of little wood, little bits like that, and. It frustrates me because I would like a really simple place to put them all in and have them all neat and tidy and then I know, okay, well that one's got that in, that one's got that in, I can take that out. Um, and that's what this is great for because you can store 16 different things in here. And it's really quite handy as well, so it fits in um, sort of the little boxes and side places you can put in, so it doesn't really get in the way that much. It's lovely, it's a lovely, lovely piece of kit. Instead of $39.99, it's not, it's $31.99 on our super savers. If that's a little too large for you and you want something a little bit smaller, but you like the form factor of those small boxes, check out our super storage, our super box caddy, um, our storage case even. Uh, perfect for organising your craft stash. should be $14.99. It's not. It's $11.99. And this has six in. Same idea, but with six. Okay? Again, exactly the same size, so you can mix and match in between these. Yeah. Um, beautiful, love it. If that's slightly too large for you, oh, we do have fun. We do. We also have this one, which is a three pack shrink wrapped, um, and the shrink wrap can go into your recycling bag, by the way. Yeah. It is shrink wrap that can be recycled. Um, uh, yes, shrink wrap, £6.99, no, £5.59. That's really good, you know. I love that. It includes three sturdy, high quality, and spacious boxes. So, whatever you want, size wise, whether you want the three, whether you want the six, or whether you want the gigantic, how many was in that? 16. Mat? 16. We've got something for you. Now's the time to grab them at these prices. Um, can we just do a quick reminder of our Win It Weekly? Is that yes. okay? This is a good Win It Weekly. It's a great Win It Weekly. So, Usually £29.99 to four lucky crafters this week, free. I can't believe it's going out to four people. Free. We're giving one of these away to four lucky crafters. We're going to be giving them away at 10 o'clock on Friday morning on our Thank Craft It's Friday show. Make sure you're here with us. Uh, it's going to be fun. There's something launching that I'm really quite excited about. And if you like spending very little amounts of money, then Friday is the show for you. Um, okay, if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of these, we've well, got to an answer, and you've got to get the answer right. Okay, like our video if you will, share our video if you will, but comment, on average, how many cups of tea do Brits drink a day? Is it A, 115 million, is it B, 165 million, or is it C, 182 million? About 60 million Brits, I think there are, so you're talking two cups a day is A, on average, Two and a half ish uh, for B on average, and three. I feel um, like you're giving it away. Three a day for. Am I? 
I feel like you are. I don't know. I'm doing just, the maths just trying to work it out, you know. Um, well, we don't fit into any of those categories. We don't fit into any of those categories. No. Both Natalie and I like four to six. Four to six. Any less than that, bit disappointed, bit of a bad brew day. Yeah. I think. Or you've been really busy, so you've just not had time to make one. Hasn't, and that's devastating. Hasn't the world I changed? Mean, you need time for a brew. You do need time for a brew. Hasn't the world changed? Brew rooms have gone, haven't they? Brew yeah. rooms have disappeared. Yeah, because you obviously, have to get your own now. With, with the, the current situation at the room with the virus, um, you make your own brew. So, and you get your own food. You get, you know, there's no, we don't do anything, we, everything's done on your own at work. And it yeah. used to be a thing where you go and make a brew and you make a brew for 10 people. Yeah, you do it for like the whole of your, <laughs> the whole of your, um, your bank, wouldn't you? There's, there's probably more tea drunk now than there used to be because there used to be about 20% of it spilt on the floor yeah, on the way from the true. kitchen, from the canteen <laughs> to the desks. So there's probably more drunk now than there used to be. I don't know if Emily has factored that in or not. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, okay, what is our next product? Um, I should know this. Next. We're gonna come to, can we come to you, Natalie, and look at the, um, the Trim It insert pads? Oh, you can if I can reach. Can I reach? Oh, they're all the way over here. Okay. Oh. This is a really great concept, actually. And I forgot I had these until I tidied up. But I do have them. And I do often use them, but I have to trawl through um, to find them. So this is our Trim Me Foiled Insert Pad. We do these in gold and we do them in silver. Um, and they are sort of set out into different, I would say, categories of um, sort of festivities. So this one is our everyday one and this one has um, things like thanks, um, all the best on your special day, well wishes, congratulations, um, wishing you lots of love and you can see there on the side all of the different things you're going to get included in all of them. So let's just run through them first. Um, we've got Christmas one there. Um, I love how myself, I love how they're all in different fonts. Um, different sort of text so they're diff you can put these in sort of cards for older generations or younger generations depending on who you're making your cards for. Then we've got Thinking of You which is this beautiful silver colour um, and that's really nice sort of bits in there. Um, our thoughts are with you, wishing you a speedy recovery, remembering with you which is really nice. Um, in heartfelt sympathies, you are in our prayers. So the more um, harder ones, occasions to sort of think of the words for, and we've got that in gold and silver. Again, we've got our everyday, we've got birthdays, which is really fun. So you've got some good ones there that's a little bit different, like make a wish on your special day. Yay, it's your birthday, birthday wishes, many happy returns. Um, and then we've got that in gold as well. The great thing about this pad though, and let me get this first one out for you, is that these have a fantastic guide on the back. I'll just flip this over so you can see. So this guide here um, is a trim me guide. So this allows you to be able to trim your insert for any size card you are going to make and that sentiment will be exactly in the center. Um, so you can make here your 8x8s, eight your um, A5, 7x7, seven seven, um, A5 tent, um, which is a really good as well because it's not just one way, it's both ways. So if you're going to make a tent card or you're going to make um, it the other way, you have all of that on here. And it goes all the way down to 4x3. So it's super, super tiny. But each time you cut any of these sizes, your sentiment is going to be in the center of your card, which is what you want because the last thing you want is a little bit of a dodgy, sen dodgy sentiment on the edge to the bottom, um, but this allows you to just cut it away, use the guide to trim it on the back, and then stick it um, with your choice of adhesive onto the front. Because it's, it's always the last thing you do, isn't it? So you don't want yeah, to go you all the way through making a gorgeous card. You and do then not want to ruin it. It's grayscale as well, which is brilliant, so you don't see it through. So it's, no. it's dark enough for you to be able to see, but light on enough for it not to shine through because it's a lovely thick um, insert paper. It is it? really, really nice. It is a very, very nice. But the foiled it just, insert is very glamorous, isn't it? It is glamorous. It adds that extra bit to it. If you're someone who um, makes cards to sell, this is great because, um, I mean, some people do print out their inserts and then put them in the cards, but this is just going to add that extra touch because it's all foiled. It's going to look really professional when you're selling these on your stalls. And they're on a buy one, get one free. 
Um, so you can get all of these, um, one each for $9.99. You've got the whole um, sort of occasions ready to go. What a good price. Um, but now it's Monday, it's 2020. It's time for the Hunky Dory headlines. 2021. Did I say 2020? Yes. Why would I say that? Why not? Why? Oh, for the first week, that's what we do, isn't it? We all, yeah, we all write It's always going to be me, isn't it? Um, so let's head over to see what the Hunky Dory headlines are this week. Good morning and welcome to the Hunky Dory Headlines. My name is Newsy McNewsreader and a very happy new year from me. On Hunky Dory TV this week there will be two more shows for you. Now launching brand new Popper Topper Pads on Wednesday 6th of January 10am on our live launch show. We know how much you love the last one so new ones have been designed. Quids in. It's our January Pound Shop. Get ready for some crafty, crazy bargains on Friday the 8th of January at 10am in our Thank Craft It's Friday show. We have some breaking news for you. A man has just been arrested for completing an origami course backwards. We'll update you more as the situation unfolds. <laughs> yes. End of year sale has now finished. Congratulations to everybody who managed to bag themselves a bargain in our end of year sale. And a great big thank you from all of the warehouse team who ha now have less to count in the end of year stock take. <laughs> Very good. In other news, it's come to light that the humble shovel is a groundbreaking invention. <laughs> who wrote that? And now it is time for our thought of the week. New Year's resolution number one. Be more awesome than last year. Easier said than done. And that concludes our Hunky Dory headlines for the week. Yeah, smooth. <laughs> Let me show you something. There is I don't a know who allowed that to happen. Who allowed what to happen? That, I guess, that. this year. For 2021? Yeah, we should have. <laughs> should have been stopped. We should have scrapped that. Never. Scrap it. I just want to show you something. Um, there was a lady uh, earlier on, and my comments aren't working on the iPad, it's really annoying. But there was a lady oh, earlier yeah, on, about I saw, the she said about, about um, sizes of, <laughs> of, of cardstock. Okay, so you know we've got our... Uh, our Ink Me, our A4 Ink Me 100 sheet pack, it's such, such a good deal. But I'll show you something. Because the lady said that she wanted A2 if possible. Oh, that would be cool. Well, that is SRA2. That's a size, That's big, isn't, isn't it? it? Okay, so this is actually slightly larger than A2. It's an absolute beast of a size. So, our problem, I'm guessing, is going to be getting this to people shipping safely. Yeah. yeah? We can try. I can see what we can do. I have to say that there is not much chance of the next one. Oh no, this one's a whopper. But I will show you. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So that is that is our 300 GSM Ink Me cardstock. Oh, look, it's, it, the camera can't cope. Can't there we go. It. Is that better? Look at the size of it. it. The camera can't cope with it, it's that big. It can't. Look at that. It doesn't know what's going on. So this, that's, I think that's SRA1. So that's a massive piece of card, yeah? So you, you can see, we, we do have these gorgeous things. But, I mean, you can't even fit it in your car. No, do you know what I mean? So, so it gets tricky, but I'll see what I can do with A2. I know I can do A3. Okay, so we'll make sure that the A3 is on a Super Savers. We'll try and get it on next month. Is that a good idea? Good idea. That's great. That's a good idea. Uh, in the meantime, that A4, 100 sheets of A4, uh, Ink Me, 300 GSM, instead of 19.99, which is already a crazy price, it's a brilliant price at 20 quid, it's 12.99. It's crazy. That's just, pounds, it's brilliant. Um, uh, Price-wise, it's amazing. Uh, 
people who use ink me know the quality of that. It takes those um, those inks beautifully, doesn't it? Yeah. Using it with our prism ink pads, it's an it's absolute amazing. dream. Um, lovely to score, lovely to fold, lovely to work with. Uh, okay, Natalie, what do we have next? Next, we have um, a really good selection of our Moonstone nesting dies. Um, so these are our larger dies that you can see here. And there's 40% saving on these now. So they were all 19.99, but today you can get today for however long this lasts. Is it a week, Dan? Uh, it is. It will be lasting until next Monday. So these are until next Sunday. Monday. So you have a week to get these deals. There might be one that you're missing. There might be one that you haven't seen before that you don't have in your selection. But these are eleven ninety nine. Nesting dies are essential for crafting. Some are even cheaper. That's incredible. Some are seven pound. I'm gonna guess it's these ones. Yeah. These ones are seven pound ninety nine. Um, but yeah, you're gonna use these all the time in your crafting. The great thing about our nesting dies is that they fit with our toppers, so that you can use these with your um, dimensional card domes so you can put your you can cut these out of card blanks you can put your domes um, on the inside and then you can make some really nice cards with your decollage so a lot of these all fit those frames some of them oh I like this one this one's really fancy um, they're just great you can see them on the back how many different sizes you get so they go from quite large to really teeny tiny um, but I just love the amount of different shapes you get in here because you can use these to make cards as well so you can make some really fancy different shaped cards. Again these them. are craft tools aren't they you will use them again and again oh, and again. Yeah. Uh, that you, it's just perfect for getting the right size mats um, if you want to to use any kind of uh, flat um, uh, sheet of artwork then you can create your own toppers with them um, what, what a lovely piece of kit and a great deal. Oh, great deal. Uh, okay, only two more products to show you this morning, people. Um, we have, firstly, this gorgeous set of Miricard. Now, we've got 50 sheets of Miricard here. It's not, that's a lie, it's not Miricard, it's Miricard, which is why you can see that gorgeous reflection there. Um, it is Miricard, the proper branded Miri, not just Miricard. People who buy and use Miricard will know it's the best. You get 50 sheets in this megabyte, should be $14.99, it's usually $14.99. On our website, year round, it isn't, it's £9.99 during Super Savers. You get 20 sheets of the silver, you get 20 sheets of the gold, and it's that gorgeous gold, it's such a pretty colour. But you also get 10 sheets of the rainbow, which is the Aurora Borealis, look at that which has got every single colour and is perfect for use. If you've got uh, something that you don't know if it suits silver, you don't know if it suits gold, this will suit it. Yes. You've got something that's got lots of colour, this will suit it. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Make sure when you're using your mirror card, guys, that you are, if you're, if you're gonna put a topper on top of it, cut out that middle section and use it elsewhere. Don't waste this gorgeous material behind stuff. Does that make sense? Um, it's beautiful, we love it. It's 50 sheets, it's only £9.99. Uh, let's go to Natalie for our last product of the day. Our last product and probably my most favorite product. This is our Prism Craft Markers and Handbook deal. So you can see here, these are all the pens that you're gonna receive in this bundle. There's 14 packs in total and you get six pens in each. They're all divided into different color wheels. So you've got um, your greens here, you've got your turquoises, you've got your yellows, your warm greys, um, but there's color in here for anything that you are gonna color in. Not only do you get all of those handbook, those pens, but you get this handbook, um, which you're gonna be able to show you all the tips, tricks, um, how to get the best out of these markers. These are my favorite thing to color in with. Um, they are an amazing tool. The shading that you can create in some of your projects is just unbelievable. You wouldn't think that you'd actually color it in because it, it does look so printed. You can see here by using the different colors, the different sort of ombre tones you can create, um, the shading that you can create there. Um, it goes through to skin colors. So the really, the, probably the most hardest thing people um, find to color in with is skin colors, but we've done that here for you. We've done all the hard work. Um, we've looked at the best shades to um, use to create those different colors. The same with hair and how to best get, how to best get the best technique, I can't even say that now. How to get the best technique when coloring sort of hair um, as well. You've got, 
um, different things like using your blender because there is a blender pen included in here, um, which papers you should use. And then obviously it's filled with loads of fantastic projects um, made by the team in the back um, on how to get the best out of your pens. These are amazing. These are a tool. These are gonna last you a really long time. Um, you should store them this way because they do have ink that runs on both ends because there is a chisel tip and a fine liner on the other side so that when you're coloring, you have more um, ability. So on this side, you have a really chunky chisel tip. That's great for sort of larger surface areas um, for big images that you need to color in. On the other side, you have the exact same color, but in a finer nib, which is a lot better for more, for smaller stamps, um, for smaller images, or um, just those little bits where you need to touch up with the color. Um, so they are our prism craft markers. Such a really a really nice um, shape as well. The triangular shape is fantastic. Yeah. They don't roll off your table. No. I know it's so simple, it's so basic, they but they don't, don't roll off your they table. They don't roll off the table, they just stay there. They're ready to use when you find. I think another great point as well is that um, each number, each pen has a, a number, so that is the colour that your pen is, but they have that on both sides. So if you have them in a different box, if you take them out of these packaging, I have OCD, so mine are all in the packaging probably at the moment not in the right ones which is um a bit stressful but it's fine uh but they all you can find them you can find which color you want you don't have to just you don't have to take each pen out it's not written on the side it's written on the end for you so you know exactly what you're looking for and it's the price natalie i know it's crazy absolute is that, that is that the lowest we've ever done this it's the equal lowest we've ever done this uh it's the lowest we will ever be able to do this um the it's, world is going up in price it's uh, crazy. we are we are doing our absolute utmost to not go up in price whilst the world goes up in price around us uh, and we'll continue to do our utmost to, uh, to not go up in price as well 69 pounds 93 what a deal that is a hell of a lot of product and it's the education that you get from that book yeah. as well i think is those fantastic. handbooks are really important aren't they really good yeah uh, okay, everyone, we want to say thank you very much for spending an hour with us. Um, it's It's been really nice. Uh, we've has. enjoyed your company. Uh, thanks for all your comments. And please do, when you're on, on the, uh, watching these feeds, yeah. please do comment. The more comments we get, the more we can read. Unfortunately, it wasn't working quite well today. But <laughs> the more the more engagement we can get, the more we can uh, chat about craft and, and, and about what's going on. Uh, we do love to know. We love to hear from you. Um, okay, last, last time I'll just show very quickly if I've got it. There it is stuff everywhere I do apologize um, this is our premier craft tools stamping press four people are going to be uh, uh, you're not in with a chance when you four people are going to win, win this, um, this Friday so we want you to like share and comment do it on any of the feeds throughout the week so that yeah. be Monday Wednesday and Friday 10 a.m. we will be here on Facebook and on YouTube be here with us uh, on average how many cups of tea do Brits drink a day is it 115 million 165 million or 182 million one of those answers is correct it is for people who choose the right answer they will win one of these on friday um Such i'm really surprise. excited about that i think it's brilliant uh we've just got a couple of things to do we are going to add an artist garden which i'm really surprised i didn't think we had any of this i know Such i'm a quite surprised actually i don't know where this has been found you do have a secret stash don't you uh, Emily pinches things I know she does but in a good way not in a bad way we're not locking her up or anything yet um, okay yeah. this is going into the rollover the rollover was won at the end of the year it was um, and a lady won do we remember who won it I don't, I don't remember the lady's name I'm sorry um, I wasn't on the show um, but a lady won it and she it won incredible. over 500 quids worth of goodies which was amazing uh, we are starting our rollover again. We is are. this the first product going in it? Second. Um, second product going in it. Every show at the end of the show, we add a product to the rollover. On Fridays, we do our big spin the wheel. And one of the segments on that spin the wheel is Just prize, prize rollover. Um, let's see, it could get one. Uh, if it gets one this week, there'll be uh, two, two, three, things. there'll be four products in it, okay? Oh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so we will see, and it will build up and up and up. And if it does the same thing, and builds up, we will make it a win it weekly product um, at prize, and we will give the whole thing away. Um, we make sure we do our giveaways and we love them. Um, guys, that's going in the prize rollover. Uh, do not forget Natalia von Muspratt, my friend Natalie, who will be on TV when, Natalie? Um, tomorrow. And what times will be on TV, Natalie? Um, 2.15? Yeah. 
Yeah. I just know that I need to be in my car and for nine o'clock in the morning. For nine o'clock in the morning. So I'm not getting home till midnight. Two fifteen in the afternoon and six forty-five tomorrow evening. Natalie will be on Creating Craft TV, the premier craft. Uh, TV station um, yes. in the UK, apart from Kadori TV. Um, uh, she will be there with our new Popper Toppers collection, uh, which you will only be able to get from them uh, at that time. Um, and then we will be showing that. Natalie, it'll be you and Rachel. Me and Rachel on, on Wednesday. Wednesday, which yeah. is very exciting. And then Friday, join us. Uh, we gave away what Friday was going to be, know. didn't we? We did. Um, quids in, I believe the word was, uh, for our Pound Shop show. Have a lovely week, everybody. Um, see you later in the week and enjoy your day. Bye now. Bye.